Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, been honestly a hectic work week. Been going crazy with hours this week, so it took me a little time to get another video out and get in here and clean. Um, we just went through, cleaned out, you know, did a full cleaning on all the racks, um, cleaned out both racks, you know, topped off waters and whatnot. Uh, went through, we have uh, 43 babies that, you know, we're trying to get literally with the with all the uh, new snakes, just trying to get uh, rat production up to where it needs to be. Um, wanted to give you guys an update on the pairings that we did this year, this you know being our first breeding year. So we ended up getting this pastel Enchi Blade Leopard Clown that looks like he wants to eat me um, from over at Blue Line Morphs from Baker. That's, yep, we'll just leave him alone. Um, we picked him up because the, the first male we tried breeding wasn't really uh, getting it out, you know, having an idea on uh, what's going on and getting it done, which was this uh, leopard clown male that we picked up. We picked him up when he was a baby. We bred him up, really good looking, or grew him up, really good looking male. Um, he had one lock in this year, but just wasn't, you know, wasn't getting it done with the uh, the females that I had. He is him on the scale real quick. Oh, actually, hold on. That scale zero out. He's sitting right around a thousand grams. Um, so basically, we tried to have him breed for us this year. Um, like, we, like I said, he wasn't figuring it out. He got that one lock in and then just kind of wasn't really, you know, for the other, the other females that I had. Uh, so we ended up picking up that pastel Enchi Blade Leopard Clown from uh, Baker over at Blue Line. Um, we paired him to this fire heck clown that we have um really good looking female um you know we've had her since she was little you know um you know so she's literally i want to say she's at she's at about well we'll see right now and she stays still and goes in the tub for me this tub is a little bit small for her. She's at about 1680, 1683. We have three confirmed locks with her with uh, that male. Then we also bred the male to our killer uh, clown female that we have. We picked her up from um, another breeder up in New Hampshire, which she's looking pretty good, lumpy. Um, and she's also sitting at about 1600 or 1588. So out of these two pairings, what we're hoping for is to get a couple more visual clown females. And then the last pairing we had, which was to our lesser spot nose clown that we picked up from, uh, I think it was Dreamweaver. He had three confirmed locks with her, but she um, reabsorbed. She ended up taking a meal for me um, two days ago, which you can kind of still see in her. But, um, you know, which sucks because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to have a chance of making some Batmans. But, you know, is what it is. She'll, you know, she'll get a little bit bigger and go for next, you know, next season. So, I'm going to wait on her real quick. So, like, 1471. So, not too, too bad. Um, so, those were our three pairings this year. 
um, so far out of uh, that past some edgy blade leopard clown. Um, and what you know, what we were trying to do was trying to produce a couple more visual clown females for our breeding program for our, you know upcoming year. We also have this girl that is up to size now, which is just a pastel uh, clown female that we picked up from, um, I think this was Dixon Serpents um, down in Texas. We picked him up, or her up, and she's sitting at about 1375-ish. Um, we ultrasounded her the other day, and she actually has eight millimeter follicles. So we'll be throwing, trying to put either, most likely trying to put our DG, um, our pastel edgy DG clown, or a heck clown, to her. Um, you know, right now he's in shed, but um, like I said, just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, and toss a comment. Thank you.